A platformer is, simply put, a video game about jumping. In a platformer game, the player controls a character and navigates through virtual space, with the goal usually involving getting past a series of obstacles. Walls, pits, spikes, enemies, and more. The genre gets its name from the platforms characters often jump on. The Mario series is probably the most famous and influential example of the platforming game, and every platformer made since the character's first appearance in 1981's Donkey Kong has been informed by Mario's design. Starting with 1985's Super Mario Bros., the first several Super Mario games were all side-scrollers, meaning they follow the player character from the side as they move along a flat, 2D plane. The side-scroller is the most common type of platformer. As computers got more powerful, the platformer evolved and expanded into the third dimension. 3D platformers take the gameplay concepts from 2D platformers and translate them into a fully three-dimensional space, giving the player character the ability to move in 360 degrees, rather than just left, right, up, and down. Today's platformers come in both 2D and 3D varieties, and can be designed to be played in either the third-person or first-person perspective. Other than Mario, some of the most famous platforming series include Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Kong, Crash Bandicoot, Mega Man, Kirby, Shantae, and Banjo-Kazooie, just to name a few. The platformer's influence on the world of video games can't be understated. It has spawned countless games and several subgenres, such as the Metroidvania, a type of platformer that emphasizes exploration and backtracking, and the Infinite Runner, a relatively modern genre that tasks the player with surviving a never-ending gauntlet of platforming obstacles without stopping. Plenty of other types of games contain elements of the genre, from shooters and fighting games to action RPGs and even some puzzle games. To show you just how diverse and interesting platformers can be, here are a few recent examples of the genre I'd recommend to anyone. Links to all the games featured in this episode are in the description. Super Mario Maker 2 This game from Nintendo takes the many different elements of Mario games from the past 35 years and lets players build their own levels, leading to some truly creative results. Mirror's Edge A platformer series played from a first-person perspective, where you parkour your way across a futuristic city to make deliveries of packages and messages outside the reach of its oppressive government. Gravity Rush In this game, you traverse the world not by jumping, but by changing the direction of gravity itself, letting you fly across the city and hit monsters at high speed. Celeste a tough-as-nails 2D platformer with a killer soundtrack and touching story about a young woman climbing a mountain and overcoming her fears and anxieties. Braid A mind-bending puzzle platformer with a heavy emphasis on the puzzles, this game follows the traditional 2D platformer formula but gives you the ability to rewind time. Yoku's Island Express a platformer where you can't actually jump, but must fling yourself through the world like a pinball, making deliveries to the denizens of a magical island. If you'd like to learn more about other genres, subscribe to Gaming is for Everyone, as future episodes of Gaming Glossary will cover many more kinds of genres. If you're a fan of platformers, what are some of your favorite games in the genre? Sound off in the comments below, and if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to email or message me using the links in the description. Thanks for watching.